Now to the other side of the earth. A second American climber has died this week after reaching the summit of Mount Everest. Chris Coolish is the 11th climber to die on that slope this season. His family says he died doing what he loved. Climbers have been warning about overcrowding. You can see it right there, a steady line of people heading towards the summit. Here's ABC's Clayton Sandell. Chris Coolish watched his last sunrise from the top of the world. But the 62-year-old attorney from Boulder, Colorado, suddenly died today after heading down to camp. He is the second American and the 11th person to die during a climbing season proving both deadly and crowded. We want to try and get ourselves up there when there's not too many people and the weather's good. With only a narrow window of good weather and even narrower trails, log jam climbers are forced to spend longer stretches in lethal so-called death zone conditions where oxygen tanks can run out. See camp two in the background. British climber Robin Fisher we died Saturday. Climber. Days earlier, he warned on Instagram, with a single route to the summit, delays caused by overcrowding could prove fatal. Nepal has issued a record number of climbing permits this season at $11,000 each. Those who don't survive forever entombed on the mountain. We saw a climber that had taken a fall, um, had obviously um, you know, hit their head, lost their life, and that climber was fixed to the safety lines. And every single person that had to climb that night had to step over you know, that person's lifeless body. And it's, it's horrific, you know, it's devastating. Experienced climbers tell us that while overcrowding is an issue, they are also seeing more unprepared, inexperienced climbers, and they can put their own lives and the lives of many others at risk. Tom? Clayton Sandell with that new update from Mount Everest. Clayton, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.